Hi there, my name is Cindy and I'm a sophomore at Boston College in case you haven't seen any of my videos before. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I take notes on my iPad. I have the 7th generation just iPad, the 10.2 inch screen um, with the Apple Pencil. I got it for Christmas last year from my brother. Uh, he, he really surprised me. Um, but I also use the GoodNotes app to take my notes. I know some people also use Notability. Let's get on into the video. Um, first, I'm going to show you examples of how I lay out my note taking for each individual class or the different types of classes because I have history classes, I have business classes, um, some that are more lecture based and other ones that are more about like reading and taking notes and then going to class and applying those notes. Um, so I show you guys um, what that looks like and examples of my notes for those classes and then I'll also for the second half of the video show you me actually taking notes and how I highlight or use different color of font or different sizes of font um, just so we can see the specifics and whether good notes would be a good choice for you. Um, I personally really like good notes and how many options there are. I'm sure I'm not using all of them to the fullest potential. Um, but with that being said, it works great for me. Um, and I feel like the organization that I found has really worked this year and my grades have reflected that. So this is the outline of one of my business law units, which is employment law, as you can see. Um, and then I just open another one. This one's on contracts. It basically looks like the same thing because I use the same type of note-taking skills and the same type of color patterns. But um, this is what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you as well what a different class can look like. So marketing, for example. It's based on, for me, um, the class and the PowerPoints, not by units. So I have them labeled by the day of the PowerPoint, um, and this is what it looks like, um, just PowerPoint slides that the professor uploads, and I take notes on the PowerPoint slides as she teaches in class. And this is really messy, honestly, because I try to write as fast as I can, um, but this is what it looks like. These are other examples of uh, slides I've taken notes on in class for marketing. Some are less messy than the other ones. It really depends on the day, honestly, and how much content I have to write down. Um, but for example, this is just notes on the product mix. And then I will show you um, what my notes look like for another class, which is history, and it's completely lecture-based. It's actually asynchronous, and they're all based on pre-recorded lectures so I have them labeled by lecture and it's usually only like a page or two pages of notes um, and it's actually quite simple in terms of format and layout because he also posts lecture outlines. Now I'm going to show you um, how I study for exams for financial accounting. I basically write an exam sheet for each exam. I've had two so far. Um, basically I cram as much as I can in terms of like the key just of everything that we're learning, like the formulas, definitions, and there's the two sheets. Um, it's definitely very packed, but it's been so helpful for me. Now it's time for me to take notes on class reading. Um, currently, I'm working on business law. Um, we have to do a unit on intellectual property, and there's a reading that's assigned. I'm looking at the syllabus right now, and it is chapter nine. Um, what's it called from the textbook, which is online, thankfully, which is so easy and convenient. Um, and I already have a folder on here, which I will show you because I'm screen recording but I already have a um, note section for intellectual property and that's based on class recordings 
um, like the videos and also the class discussion. But I will um, show you how I'm going to add a section of notes based on the extra page um, in there for class reading. Class readings is um, my notes are not the prettiest. In fact, I would say they're more so of um, what's it called being more so for just getting the material down, understanding it, but it helps that it looks nice. Um, so basically I go to chapter 9 and it's here. Chapter 9 is basically what I'm going to label it because that's the only chapter that this one is on, which is very unusual because usually we have several chapters for each unit. So chapter 9 is titled Intellectual Property Rights in the Internet. So I'm going to write that down. This, I always review my notes for um, class exams. I suck at multitasking. And I also, um, besides reviewing my notes and reading over it, I also rewatch the recordings that are based on the topics. And they're fairly short, so it's very helpful. So that I just sped up my note taking process, but as you can see, I, it's just a summary of my reading. I highlight the important terms that are either defined or explained or given an example of. These are the terms that I just need to look for um, during exams, papers, class discussion, that kind of stuff. And um, I also underline important um, details, adjectives, or nouns, so I can pay attention to that as well. On GoodNotes, you can also change what color font you use um, and add colors from Google. Honestly, you just look up the code um, for that, or you can use the colors that are already um, automatically available on GoodNotes, like red, white, like colors of the rainbow, honestly. But I chose this color palette because pink is my favorite color, and I just like how everything looks together because I am basic. Um, overall point is to just make your notes customizable to you and your preferences because the goal is <laughs> that you like your notes that you understand them and they can use them to your advantage to prepare for whatever assessment you have whether that's an essay quiz exam project so just make sure that you understand it and that it's readable um, <laughs> because I really depend on looking back at my notes to do stuff for most of my classes and it has really paid off. You guys enjoyed the video and got some ideas um, and hopefully helpful tips from this video on how to take notes. I want to emphasize that, as you can probably see from this video so far, that my note-taking skills differ from class to class depending on the type of class it is and the material. Um, also just my best note-taking method for that type of content or class style. Um, like for financial accounting, I don't really take notes because I study the PowerPoint slides and read the text and the PowerPoint slides are a summary of the text. Um, but I found that all of these tips have really helped me this semester, so I hope it was helpful for you too. Um, please subscribe and like this video if you like this type of content, and comment below any feedback, suggestions, or requests that you have, and I'll see you in next week's upload. Bye!